flowers by Henry Longfellow, spake full by a language quaint and olden, why not relief by the castle shrine, when he called the flowers so blue and golden, stars that on earth's firmament do shine? Stars they are, when we read our history, as astrologers and seers of eld, yet not wrapped about with awful mystery like the burning stars which we beheld. Wondrous truths and many folds as wondrous, God hath written in those stars above, but not less in the bright flourest under us stands the revelation of his love. Bright and glorious is that revelation, written all over this great world of ours, making evident our own creation in these stars of earth, these golden flowers. And the poet, faithful and far-seeing, sees the like in stars and flowers a part of a self-same universal being, which is throbbing in his brain and heart. Gorgeous flowerets in the sunlight shining, blossoms flaunting in the eye of day, tremulous leaves with soft and silver lining, buds that open only to the say. Brilliant hopes are woven in gorgeous tissues, flaunting gaily in the golden light, large desires with most uncertain issues, tender wishes blossoming at night. Recent flowers and men are more than seeming, workings are they of the self-same powers, which a poet in no idle dreaming sees in himself and in the flowers. Everywhere about us are they glowing, some like stars that tell us spring is born, others, the blue eyes of tears overflown, stand like a roof amid the golden corn. Not alone in spring's armorial bearing and in summer's green and pleasant field, but in arms of brave all autumn's wearing in the center of his brazen shield. Not alone in meadows and green alleys on the mountain top and by the brink, or squestered pools and woodland valleys, where the slaves of nature stop to drink. Not alone in a vast doom of glory, not in graves of bird and beast alone, but in all cathedrals, high and hoary, on the tombs of heroes carved in stone, in the cottage of the rudest peasant, and ancestral homes whose crumbling towers speaking of the past and of the present tell us of the ancient games of flowers in all places then and in all seasons flowers expand the light and soul like wings teaching us by most persuasive reasons how akin we are to human things and with childlike credulous affection we behold the tender buds expand emblems of our own great resurrection emblems of a bright and better land 